Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube, on WCC, on Wrestling World Breakers, and anywhere else in the world today. It is the D-O-U-G here for his WWE Payback. Pay-per-view picks. Payback is this Sunday night from the All-State Arena, the hometown of Mr. CM Punk. You know, somewhat the hometown of CM Punk. Yeah, but CM Punk's going to be the hometown boy anyway. We have eight matches to talk about, and before we even get to the pay-per-view, let's get to the pre-show. It is the Lucky Charm son of a bitch named Sheamus taking on Damian Shandow. On the kickoff show, which you can watch on Yahoo, YouTube, the WWE app, PS4, Xbox One, PS3, Xbox 360, and the Atari 600. Now, the only thing that pisses me off is the fact that it's not on the pay-per-view card because I like Damian Shandow. You know, and I kind of feel he's getting gypped. I know everyone's like, oh, what about Sheamus? Why is he on the pre-show? Shut the fuck up! Okay, sorry. Sheamus, I... Sheamus is decent at best. But I, like to, I don't like him. You know, everyone's like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Sorry. Sheamus ain't my boat. I know some people like him. Hell, I'm sure some of my friends like him. But all I got to say to you is, Yippee do the fucking day for you. He was a goddamn boy, Lucky Charms. Yeah, I ain't picking Seamus on this one. I'm picking Sh uh, Shandow. You know, I can't pronounce his last name half the fucking time. But I'll take him anyway. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the pay-per-view matches. Let's start with a Divas Championship. AJ Lee will finally get her damn title match. Against Kathleen. And I know I'm mispronouncing her damn name too. But, uh, yeah, I have, for some reason I can pronounce anybody's name that has a K in it. Or at least hers anyway. I can pronounce Kane's. But anyway, this is the first time I think in years that any of us give a shit about a Divas title match. Seriously, did we care any other time before this? No, we didn't. And if anyone says they did, they're full of shit. And I think this could be the match, and I that will be the most talked about. Um, we recently we found out on Monday that yeah, AJ Lee set this whole secret and Mario thing up. I think a lot of people got fooled on this. Whoever came up with the storyline deserves a pat on the back because it's the first time we care about a Divas title match. But that being said. I'm going to say AJ Lee wins the match. And we have a new Divas Champion. Yes, that is right. You know, I think some people would not go for AJ. But you know what? I dig Psycho Chicks. Always have, always will. Next, World Heavyweight Championship. Dolph Ziggler takes on... I know, El. I can't do that one too good. I, I should leave that one to you. Uh, anyway, like I just said, it's Ziegler versus Doe for the world title. Now, this is Ziegler's mm, somewhat first match back. Mm. Ah, excuse me. Fog in my throat. First match back since getting the concussion. So, with the ring must play a key factor in this one. This is going to be the question. But, you know what? I'm going to say Ziggler wins this match. I think we've seen a new power couple in AJ and Ziggler, and I think they will have the gold after Sunday. But it's going to be a good match. You know, I love Ziggler, I love Dario, so I ain't going to go wrong on this one. Next! The WWE Tag Team Titles are on the line as The Shield, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns take on the Harry Vipers. Uh, Team RK No, or 
Voices, yes and no. Uh, the goat's poison. Whatever team name you want to make up. Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan. Yeah, um, no. Shields winning this one. I don't think this Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan team is going to work. This has the same chances of working as Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kurt Angle winning the tag team titles. It ain't going to happen. Okay? That's so much confidence I have in Orton and Daniel Bryan. It's not going to happen. Because Orton doesn't like anybody. Daniel Bryan don't like Orton. Yeah. This team is a catastrophe waiting to happen. It's going to be like that old saying. It's like, it's like a train wreck. You can't watch, but you can't look away. Kind of situation. So yeah, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns. Moving on. I see title match. Intercontinental title will be on the, on the line. As Wade Booth defends his belt against The Miz and Fandango. No, it's not Fandango, children. Fandango recently suffered a concussion. So instead of going da 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 it's going, he's going like this, concussion, la la, I got a concussion. So taking his place is Curtis Axel? I'm going to be honest, what the fuck? Seriously, and it ain't because I wanted Fandango to win. The only reason Curtis Axel's in here is either one or two things. He's either A, winning the belt, or B, Bella. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably going to take Curtis Axe on this one. Here's my thing. Mm. Excuse me once again, damn. Damn fucking soul throat. I like all three stars in this one. So once again, just like with the Ziggler and Del Rio match, I'm probably going to be happy whichever way it goes. But if I'm going to make a pick, oh, come on. Come on, you know who I'm taking, people. I might be a Miz fan, but I think everyone on WCC knows who I'm taking. I'm taking Wade Barrett on this one. Yes, I know they haven't done anything with him. But you know what? I like Wade Barrett. And I hope he does win it, but I'm just going to say it. I wouldn't be surprised if Curtis Axel walks out champion this, this Sunday. I would not be at all. Next, U.S. title match. Dean Ambrose takes on the big red lovey machine Kane. Now, normally in this situation, I would take Kane. But, this is the shield we're talking about. And I don't really see the shield losing the U.S. or tag team titles anytime soon. So I'm going to take Dean on this one. It's just a smart pick. I think it's going to be a good match. I mean, because we can see what Dean can do against somebody who's a lot taller than him and can outpower him. So it's going to be very interesting to see what he can do. But Dean's going to win this match. Next, CM Punk comes home as he takes on the king of the world, the king of rock and roll, Chris Jericho. Now, normal. Now, this is the technically third time they would face off in a pay-per-view. Yeah, apparently we're not counting the matches they've had on Raw and SmackDown in the past. Hey. Now, you know what? I'm going to take Chris Jericho on this one. I just don't know if Punk's, if, if Punk's ring rush is going to play a key factor here. And if anyone thinks Jericho's coming in, going in, being straight booed, wrong. Sorry, this is not John Cena we're talking about. We're talking about Chris Jericho. He's going to have lots of Jericho-holics at the show. Now, I previously said yesterday, if you caught into WCC Overload, so yes, I'm plugging that show, folks. WC WCC Overload. If you're one of my subscribers, please call to the show on WCC or look us up on Facebook. Now, my guarantee is this with this match. CM Punk 
will get screwed by Paul Heyman in this match. Why? Just go back to when CM Punk left. Paul Heyman had that look of, what the fuck? Face, you know, so. Yeah, I'm taking Chris Jericho on this one. Main event time. That's how I feel about it. John Cena takes on the Rybitch, the Rybug, the Ryback. Oh, Ryback. And a three stages of hell match. First fall would be a lumberjack. Second fall would be a tables match. And a third match would be the ambience match. If it goes to a third fall. Now, this one, my problem is this, my friends. I have really had a hard time picking this one. Why? Because I don't like either one. Okay? My problem with Cena is, okay, yeah, his in-ring look is meh at best. But if anything, it's his character just because of the fact it is. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. They should have cast him as the world Superman. But, be that as it may, it makes money. It ain't changing. People need to shut up about it. As far as for Ryback, yeah, I don't see any talent in him whatso fucking ever. Okay? There's a reason why some people call him Rye Green. Okay? Or why you always hear the gold bar. Gold bar. And I'm going to be honest. If Ryback wins this match, those chants will not fucking stop. And that's a damn fact. Anyone who says they will stop is full of shit. Okay? You are more full of shit than the Oakland Raiders, my friend. Um, with that being said, I'm going to take John Cena on this one. Again, like I said at Extreme Wars, it just seems like the smarter pick. Yes, I know no one's going to be happy about it. Yes, I know people are going to whine and bitch at the fact that Cena's still WWE Champion. But you know what? I'd rather have him as champion than hear this when, every, when somebody comes out. Wee oh, wee oh, wee oh. Because I'm sorry. If it ain't Scott Steiner, no one needs the fucking ambulance noises at the beginning. If it ain't Scott Steiner or Inspector Gadget. Yes, I went there. So, my official pictures to go over them one more time is AJ Lee, Ziegler, the Shield, Wade Barrett, Dean Ambrose, Damian Shandow, Chris Jericho, and John Cena. Now, I'm just going to go throw a little bit of something out there, and I want you, yes you, to answer this question. We know Mark Henry's coming back next Monday night. Will he be the one to get a WWE title shot, or do you think it's going to be one of the Lumberjacks? Let me know what you think on that answer. And until I see you, which will be later this week for as long as I can get it done, Mortal Kombat 4 Part 5, this is the D-O-U-G saying, have a good week. Enjoy the pay-per-view, and I will see you next time. Woo! By the way, Zack Ryder and JTG, go fuck yourself.